Hello and welcome back to the Orchid X layout tutorial series. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter, more focused video where we're going to talk about teardrops and tapered traces. Again, my name is Adam Fuchs. I'm a product engineer at Cadence Design Systems. And if you've been following along, feel free to continue on the board that you've been working on, or you can download the how to underscore teardrop tapers.brd and continue from there. So one of the common functions or one of the common things that you'll be doing, especially if you care a lot about the manufacturability or the signal integrity of your board is adding teardrops and tapers to traces, especially in the cases like this one right here, where you have a little bit of a change in the line width, or if you have a lot of thin traces going into larger vias where these little corners might become manufacturing issues. You might not see it if you create five boards, but you might see it pop up every once in a while if you're creating you know, tens of thousands or, or millions of boards. Taper traces and teardrops command is under the via array command. It's accessible and called teardrop slash tapers. It's going to bring up another window, just like a lot of the other commands. And one thing that I recommend is taking a look at the settings first. So in the settings, there's quite a few options. What I would recommend is at first, go ahead and just start with the default options. If you're not sure what some of these values mean, like the desired angle, the max angle, the max offset, hover over this little tooltip and it'll tell you what each of those variables indicate on like a generic teardrop, or in the case of tapers, what each of those mean for a taper in the traces. Now tapers by default are disabled. If you want to enable them in the tapers, go ahead and click enable. And then you also want to either allow or disallow taper slash teardrop DRCs. What I would suggest is say not allowed because if you allow them, the tool will add a taper or a teardrop even if it generates a DRC. The line or arc taper slash teardrop style, that's generally up to your preference but go ahead and select whichever one you want. I'm gonna keep it at the line. Okay, to add a taper or a teardrop, make sure that you're in the correct mode, so either teardrop or tapers, and then select add. I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple of teardrops. We're not gonna go through the whole design and add all of them, but we will add tapers to all of the sections of our design where applicable. Oh, as I was saying, to add a teardrop, simply click on the trace where a teardrop might be needed, and you'll notice that the tool automatically adds these nice little shapes with teardrops on the vias. If the tool isn't able to add one, then you'll just simply not see a teardrop generated. I'm trying to find a case where it might not add a teardrop. Um, maybe something like this. Nope, even there, the tool is able to, uh, not, not the best of teardrops. Let's go ahead and undo that one. In any case, another thing that you can do is if you want to add teardrops to a larger section of the board, you can also just do a box select around traces or vias, and then the selection will add teardrops to those traces and vias, or even pins as needed. You can do it on the whole board, but just keep in mind that it's going to take a little time to do all of the calculations required to add all of them. Okay, for tapers, before we start doing the tapers, let's take a look at some of the reports that are available to us in Orchidex layout. Now reports are a great way to take a look at some of the common sort of checks that you might want to run on a board that aren't necessarily DRC checks. They're not something that's wrong with your board, but something that you might want to check and make sure that, you know, you're either achieving or not, depending on your requirements. So we can run this missing tapers report and you'll see that we have seven issues come up and I can double click on all of these and it'll show us where these tapers should be added throughout the board. And while we're in the tapers command, we can simply make sure that you're in the traces selection, not the trace segments. 
you can click on that trace to add a taper and it will go ahead and add the taper for us. So this missing tapers report is still showing seven, even though we added a taper here. You can rerun that same report simply by clicking this refresh here and then move on to the next one. So here it looks like we have a taper or should have a taper, even though I don't want one. Let's take a look what this is here. Ah, okay. So this trace here should be 0 0.508. That should get rid of that issue. Let's refresh it. Perfect. Let's go back into the taper command. Add our tapers. Add our taper. Taper. So here's a case where, because of the way the routing is done, the tool can't figure out how to add a taper successfully. Let's just go ahead and slide this a little bit. Now we should be able to add a taper. There we go. So let's refresh. We got one left. Add a taper here and we're good to go. I did notice one thing while I was editing that. Let's go ahead and slide this in here. Perfect. Okay, so we've added some teardrops in our board. We've added some tapers. Again, we can rerun the report for either missing teardrops or missing tapers from the reports menu at the top here. And that's it for this video. In the next video, like I had mentioned in the previous, we'll start going into some of the 3D options available to us, as well as maybe adding some silkscreen to our board. And then we'll start getting ready to set up some manufacturing outputs. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.